Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 10th of December. I'm James Spann. Very busy weather day today. Some severe weather, much colder air blowing in. And actually, we had a small tornado this morning. This was confirmed by the National Weather Service in Birmingham. This was a small EF1 tornado uh, that touched down near Finley Avenue. That's in North Birmingham, just west of I-65, not too far from the Asipco plant. There was some damage to homes uh, and a business there. Uh, It didn't last long. It's one of these short spin-up tornadoes that can touch down on a squall line and go away in minutes. There was no tornado warning, and nobody's going to fault the Weather Service because you just can't warn for tornadoes like that. They've happened before. They'll happen again. That happened at 445 this morning, and thankfully uh, that did not last long. This afternoon, the rain is gone. That's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam. That's I-65 as seen from the top of the Daniel Building, and while the rain is on the way out, cold air is on the way in. That's the Haleyville Sky Cam, and they are sitting at 47 degrees with drizzle, a very raw, cold afternoon up in northwest Alabama. And the air that we are feeling now is coming over this snowpack. That is Andover, Minnesota, north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And what a scene that is. And obviously the air is not going to modify much coming over that. There's the big trough developing over the central United States. Now, the trough axis stays west of Alabama for a couple of days. So we'll stay in a southwest flow aloft. And I'm not totally convinced we see A lot of sunshine tomorrow, maybe some, but that southwest flow aloft over the shallow cold air can often mean uh, lingering clouds. And there's the progression. You can see the temperatures in the, in the huge contrast there. Uh, Muscle Shoals, 48. Oxford, Mississippi, 39. Now, these are at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but you cross the front. It's 70 in Auburn. Pretty remarkable. And around the region, you can see the contrast from Little Rock at 40 to Tallahassee, at 78, and the cold air clearly wins the battle for at least a while. Uh, that's the uh, radar that was captured at uh, 152 this afternoon, and uh, some pretty nasty storms were coming through uh, Macon, Lee. Uh, counties, uh, Bullock counties in parts of east central Alabama. And right after that, uh, the Weather Service did this. They posted a tornado warning for Macon County, the northern part of Macon County, for that storm uh, near Interstate 85, but uh, apparently it did not touch down. The warning was canceled before the storms got to Auburn. We've heard of no major damage down in that region. Uh, That is a small tornado watch that is expired by the time you watch this. Uh, This will be posted after 3. That expires at 3. And obviously for us up here in this end of the state, the risk of severe weather is over for a while. That's the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, that counts the rain that we had this morning, and that's showing uh, one inch for uh, parts of North Alabama. But really after today... The weather should be dry for a while. Let's check modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And there's the deal. You can see the trough axis way off to the west. We have a southwest flow aloft. And a lot of times when you have that, clouds can linger much of the day. So don't be shocked if tomorrow's kind of cloudy-ish. We'll say a mix of sun and clouds. And we won't get out of the 40s, uh, the high in the upper 40s more than likely with a chilly north wind. Uh, We should start the day, by the way, around freezing. Uh, Same thing on Wednesday. We start the day around freezing. Uh, That uh, uh, wave uh, that you see there uh, will inevitably produce some rain down to the south and east of here. Uh, At the surface Wednesday, we've got uh, rain developing over the northern Gulf, and that means some rain Wednesday for places like Dothan, uh, Panama City, Tallahassee. But up this way, rain should not be a problem, just a... uh, Partly sunny day and a cool day. The high should be in the 50s. On Thursday, again, early in the day, a chance will be close to freezing. We warm up into the upper 50s. And Friday, we stay dry. A pretty good chance we'll see a high close to 60. So temperatures slowly getting back to where they should be later in the week. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday as we kick things off. A warm 588 uh, ridge over the southern Gulf. Pretty fast flow and a strong impulse over Missouri, and that's going to spin up a surface low near Kansas City. 
And uh, this shows a chance of showers down below that. Uh, the day Saturday, mostly dry if this is right. We'll go to Saturday night at midnight. The surface low is near Indianapolis, a trailing front coming in with a chance of showers. But there's limited moisture, so this is suggesting rain amounts under a tenth of an inch for where we are down here. And then by Sunday at 12 noon, the showers are gone. We have a northerly flow. We turn cooler again as the high could drop back into the 50s if this is right. So this looks like not a big rain event, but a chance of showers late Saturday, Saturday night, maybe early Sunday. And we turn cooler, and there's a week from today, and that looks cool and dry with a high in the 50s. Do we dare look at Christmas Eve? Oh, why not? Of course, this is in the land of voodoo. If you're new to this, there's no skill in a specific forecast beyond seven days. We're looking for trends out here, and uh, we're going to have some rain and some cold shots, and timing this out is impossible. This will change again. Big trough off to the west, strong cold front coming in, a good chance of showers, maybe a snow flurry on the backside of the departing front, and look at Christmas Day, if this is right. Windy, cold, highs. If, the, if these thickness values are right, the highs would be in the 30s on Christmas Day. But trust me, the next run you see will look radically different. Uh, you know, I, a cold shot like this, I think, is likely late in the month. But does it come in Christmas Day or two days after, two days before? We just don't know that yet. And just for the fun of it. Oh, by the way, there's a look at the anomalies. Uh, uh, and you can see uh, if this run happens to be correct. Temperatures on Christmas morning would be, what, uh, almost 20 degrees below average. That is really cold, if this is right, and that's a big if. And just for the fun of it, the snow cover projection for Christmas morning at 6 o'clock local time. Hey, a little purple down into the Tennessee Valley. But, you know, that'll be gone on the next run. We're just... uh, we just like to have a little fun and peek out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't forget to catch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas It's not the presents. No. And it's not the million Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. Relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going with that. Yeah. It it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few of those <laughs> folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bl- bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.